Today we're going to be making some home decor balls, only using a couple items from the Dollar Tree. Make sure you check it out. And don't forget, in the description box below, I always try and link the products that I use. If I can't find the exact item, I link something as close as I possibly can. Let's hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and some organization, but all on a budget. Let's hop into today's video. So first things first, I don't know <laughs> how far I'll get through this video in one shot because I have my four week old sleeping. Also, I cannot remember what these are called, but I will look it up and I will have it in the description if not in the title. And let's get started. So what you're going to need is a styrofoam ball as well as the thumbtacks. And I forgot to open my thumbtacks ahead of time, so give me a second. So the Dollar Tree has silver and gold thumbtacks. I did the silver one, so now I'm going to do a gold one and here with you guys. All right, in all honesty, this is extremely easy to do. There's a couple ways you can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in towards the ball so you can see what I'm working with and how I go for it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start by putting one in the very quote unquote top. So whatever I'm making the top. So I'm just gonna stick it in. We're gonna kind of go around in a spiral motion. I tried doing this one by going down in stripes, but getting a straight line going around the curved ball was really difficult and it didn't end up looking very good. So I went ahead and I took everything out and I went around in the circular motion and I really like how that turned out. Oops, where did my top go? I want them to overlap just a little bit, but not too much. See how it overlaps just a little bit? And the other thing with doing this on the styrofoam rather than on the canvas is the styrofoam is not as forgiving. So the good thing about having them overlap is you're not going to have them falling out because they're going to be holding each other in and you don't have to use anything extra. If you do take it in and out multiple times, that's going to create a bigger hole so then it's harder for the styrofoam to hang on to the pin, the tack. So there's round one. And now, although this takes some time, I have to say it looks really cool in the end. So if you're willing to put in the time, just pop in a good movie, have a good friend over, have some coffee or something to drink, some wine, and go ahead and make your little balls. And that did not come out right. This is pretty much what I'm going to do the entire time. So let's transition to a couple random rambles. I'm wearing the Color Street Nails. And I was kind of tentative to try them, but I did try them and I love them. They were really easy to put on. I was able to put them on my daughter and they lasted a whole week for my six year old. So not only did they not have to dry, they lasted. So that's pretty amazing for a six year old. And thank you for bearing with my shorter videos lately. I know that not everything needs rambling, but uh, I do have, like I said, a four week old, and so it's a little harder to get on and talk a long time because my four week old does need us some attention. All right, so we have a few more layers on there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up, and then I'm gonna show you how to finish it off so that you don't end up having problems later on. So here's another quick tip that I found out as I was going around. Um, if you put the tack, the pointy part of the tack, right next to the one you just did, kind of about halfway down and push, it's going to keep those areas where it kind of dips in and back out covered. And it really gets everything pretty even. So just about halfway down and you push. Because see these little parts where it comes up a little bit? We need to make sure all that's covered also. So if you just go halfway down, press in, See how that covers everything pretty good? Doing it this way also helps keep the pattern pretty even. And you can see I'm about halfway done now. All right, so we're ready to put the very last thumbtack in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue just right in the center there. Oops, that was probably too much. You don't want quite that much, but it works. <laughs> and then, ooh, I'm gonna put this right in the middle. Wipe away any excess hot glue. You'll feel the thumbtack kind of get warm as you hold it to let it cure. But that's going to hold it tight so that nothing unravels or comes out because everything is holding each other in and then you have that hot glue on the very last one holding it in. So 
really all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you give it a shot. And don't forget, next time you're at the Dollar Tree to stop and get some foam balls and the thumbtacks. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!